ng araw, ka-faithful, we wanted to let you know that even if there's Wi-Fi uh, trouble, we are here for you and we want to share with you the word of the Lord for this week. And it is entitled, Praying for Whatever I Feel. Na kahit anong nararamdaman mo, pwede kang mag-pray. Pwede mo rin yan ipag-pray. Sabi sa James 5:13 to 17 kung may trouble ka, kung may sakit ka, kung masaya ka, kung nagkasala ka, lahat ng pagkakataon na yon, pwedeng mag-pray. At ang Panginoon, handang makinig. Now, ano ba? Kailan ba dapat mag-pray for healing? Ang healing ba ay para sa physical lang? When should I pray for healing? Number one, when I feel emotional pain or happiness. Sabi doon eh, uh, sa James 5, pag may trouble, mag-pray. Kung masaya, mag-pray. Number two, when I'm phys feeling physical pain. Uh, ito ang hindi natin na uh, e-emphasize masyado. Sabi doon sa James 5, kapag merong may sakit, tawagin yung leaders. It could be your faith group leader, it could be our pastors, tapos hingin mo sila na mag-pray para sa'yo and to anoint you with oil. Of course, ngayon, parang limitado dun sa physical anointing of oil, but you know, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit could be there to pray for you. Tapos, ang sabi dun, yung prayer na may faith will make the sick person well. At kung nagkasala, so hindi dinidiscount na posible na yung ating mga sakit ay may connection sa kaya tayo, kaya kasi nagkasala tayo in the past. Pero pag nag-confess ng sins at naipag-pray ng ibang tao, may healing. Ang hirap kasi mag-confess, di ba? Pero yung confession ang way towards physical healing madalas. Bakit ba tayo may sakit? Meron po kang sing sakit na maglilid talaga sa death. Yun naman ang eternal destiny ng lahat eh. Pero pag Christian ka, meron pang beyond death. Meron pong sakit na para lang tayo disiplinahin. May itinutuwid ang Panginoon. Pero merong sakit that would really give glory to God. Hindi tayo nakatira sa isang perfect world. Kaya masasaktan at masasaktan tayo. Pero ang kabutihan ng Diyos, God can bring out something good from this pain that we are experiencing right now. Ang sarap lang na kapag dumadanas tayo sa pain, we can commit ourselves to the Lord. Na Lord, gagawa ako patuloy ng mabuti kahit nasasaktan ako. Ano ulit ang paraan para mag-pray for healing? Humingi ka ng tulong sa iba. So, text mo si Kuya Romy, text mo yung number natin, I need prayers right now. And then, allow them to pray for you. And uh, receive such prayers. And of course, pray in Jesus' name. As in that name of Jesus who died on the cross for you. And have the full faith to believe na pag naipag-pray ka na, or habang pinagpa-pray ka, nandun ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos para ikaw ay pagalingin. Number three, ano pa ang kailangan natin ipag-pray aside from emotional and physical pain? I sorry, emotional and uh, physical pain. It could also be our spiritual pain. Mga ka-faithful, ano ba yung spiritual pain? Ayun yung guilt, nagkamali ka, nagkasala ka, natatakot ka, nag-aalala ka, nagdududa ka, may galit ka. This could be spiritual pain eh. Pero ang sabi sa James 5.16 ulit, confess, at ito po yung maganda, yung prayers mo nasasagot kapag the person is living right with God. That's the prayer which is very powerful and effective. So, madali, madalas sa hindi, may mga harang eh, kaya yung prayers hindi nasasagot. But when we pray to God and ask another person to pray for us, yung, yung spiritual pain, pagagalingin ng Panginoon kasi by His wounds, by His stripes, we have been forgiven and we have been healed. Now, sino ba ang pwedeng mag-pray for healing? Kahit sino. Basta naniniwala kay Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross. Kasi di ba si Elijah was just a man like us, pero because he prayed earnestly, yun, dininig siya ng Diyos. 
cut, what is the process para makomplete ang ating uh, healing for the pain? C, call it by name. Ano ba ang nararamdaman ko? Guilt ba to? Letter U is uh, unlock uncover its causes. Bakit ako guilty? Ano yung ginawa kong mali kay Lord? And then, utter them before Jesus. Lord, nagsinungaling ako. Panginoon, hindi ko binigay yung para sa'yo. Lord, patawarin mo po ako. And then, transform it for God's glory. Na anuman yung pain na yun, mag-serve ka pa rin kay Lord. Anuman yung pain na yun, hindi ka titigil na gawin yun tama and receive the forgiveness of God. So, Whatever I feel, I can pray for it before the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Ka Faithful.